with audio stuff? You reviewing anything new? Um, actually, I was fixing some files from the social calibration, social calibration, social so spatial cal- audio. So <laughs> the social calibration toolkit. Sure. Yes, <clears throat> it fixes your Facebook too, along with your home theater. Uh, kidding. Uh, so basically, I was running some files and uh, kind of fixing a couple, and I was testing them. Right, I was testing them. And lo and behold, and it was the five ear level callouts. And lo and behold, my front height right was not working. This is upstairs because I haven't really tested anything upstairs recently. I've all, all done all my testing in here. I'm uh-huh. like, wait a second. What the hell's going on? I played another call out. The, I played the M2TS version. Then I played the MKV version. I'm like, there's still no sound coming from that speaker. So I was just like, OK, it could either be the speaker. It could be the wiring going up to the top there. So what I did, I went to the back of the amplifier and the front height left speaker cable and front height right. I just swapped those. I was like, okay, let's see if it's a speaker. Let's see. So it's troubleshooting, right? Just troubleshooting. Is something with the amplifier? Is the, you know, because I'm using the Marantz Pre-Pro. Is it my XLRs messed up going to the amp? You know, it could be a lot of things. So as soon as I did that, I went ahead and played the call out again and I got front height left coming out of the right. I was like, okay, it's not speaker. And then front height right came out of the left. I'm like, wait a second. What the hell? <laughs> so I guess it, uh, I guess the banana plug was just not in all the way. Uh, yeah. Something. But like, I, I haven't even touched it. I haven't it's gone back there. I haven't messed around with it. It's always good to have the spatial audio calibration toolkit by your side. Yeah. To let yes. you know what's working, what's not working. That's right. And once it's working and you get it figured out, everybody's happy. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, right. Sometimes and you just got to check it out once in a while because you could have it all set up perfectly. And one day it could just, you know, who knows what can happen. Somebody tripped over a wire. I don't know. Somebody moved something back there. Well, you know, you know, what's uh, funny. My friend uh, from college was here uh, in Mammoth. First time skiing. He, t- he brought his whole family and he's the person uh, that went from a TV to a sound bar. And then from the sound bar to a receiver. Mm-hmm. And, I, cause I, I had those clips RP 600 M's, you know, I just gave it to him. Yeah. Told him, yeah. Buy this dead in 2400 H whatever. You'll be fine. And, and then he, then he got, um, the, he, he bought the like rel 10 inch subwoofer that I have off me. Um, and then bought a center channel, bought some surrounds and he's like, man, I had everything set up. And then one day, I don't know what happened. I think one of the kids like pressed some buttons on the remote He's mm. like, and everything just sounds like crap. <laughs> and so that was one of the things, you know, that you do have to watch out for when you take the step to the AV receiver uh, world is that a mm. couple of, you know, a couple of button presses here and there and everything goes sideways. Oh, yeah, you, you can make it sound pretty bad. You know what, what's cool on Denon and Moran's? You can lock it out. Oh, really? Yeah, you can lock the settings. Well, you know, uh, you tried he, that? Uh, what's that? Have you tried that? Just locking the settings might be a good uh, idea if you have people over. You yeah, like no, mess no. around and oh, make no, your system sure. better. Well, here's what happened. He actually just recently upgraded to like an Anthem, like 740 or something oh, like that. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. Okay. He's like, man, this sounds great. Ah, this he, sounds great. You got, you, you, you got him hooked, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's funny because like uh like one day uh we were talking, you know, just trying to like catch up and stuff, and he's like, Yeah, man, I'm really into like headphones and DAX and da-da-da. He met Steve Gutenberg at some random party. At some <laughs> so party, like, no. Yeah, yeah. Like not even at like, the audio thing, huh? So like, after every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily hi-fi. Uh,